2581 here with the Wii U unboxing. Last time I did an unboxing of the system, I used my cell phone. It's kind of hard to open, so pardon the uh, angles and all that, but it's easier if I have two hands to try to open this. I've been looking forward to the system for a while. I'm a Nintendo fanboy, have been my whole life, so it's pretty cool. The uh, both cons the white version and the black version, the boxes were similar, but um, as you can see, you got the Nintendo Land sticker here. Here it says there's a deluxe digital promotion. I really, I don't, I don't know what that is. I, I'll find out soon. And hopefully the lighting is okay in here. I try to give it as much light as I can. Just hope it's coming out okay on the camera. Um, here it's just telling you the features of the deluxe set. Let's clean back. It's funny, no pictures of the games. Usually Nintendo hypes that up. Here are the contents. It's telling you that, well, I, I'm going to do everything backwards here, but got the gamepad, the system, AC adapter for the gamepad, AC adapter for the system. Comes with an HDMI wire, which is cool. I mean, they dropped in price, but it's still good to have an extra sensor bar. I wonder if it's the same exact sensor bar. Got cradles for the system and the controller, which is cool. And Nintendo Land, which hopefully comes in a real case and not like Wii Sports with a little flap envelope. Uh, right. I, I thought it was foolish of anyone, and I'm not knocking anybody, to get the base model. Because Nintendo Land alone was a $60 game, so just that alone knocks the price to, to a different level. And I'm um, not saying everyone wants Nintendo Land, but I did. It just didn't make sense, plus everything else that it came with. Alright, so it looks like there's two trays in here. The first tray has Nintendo Land, which is great, in its actual retail case. Thank you, Nintendo, for doing that. This I look forward to. This is great. All my favorite franchises all smushed together. So we got that. Um, got all the manuals. I'm not going to go through that now. It's boring. Might actually have to look at this a little bit to figure out how to set up the whole online whatever they're going to do. Hopefully, it's better than the Wii. Got a pretty big uh, AC adapter. And I'm guessing this is the. Hmm, yeah, this got to be the adapter just for the gamepad to charge it. So then under here. We have our HDMI wire. We got the cradle to hold the gamepad, which is cool. And this looks like another piece of it. Then here's the sensor bar, which might very well be the exact same sensor bar, which is good for people who lost theirs. This looks like these two pieces here are going to hold the system together. Um, don't think there's anything under the other flap. Let's get this out of the way. The box is actually a little heavier than I thought it would be. I'm not saying it's heavy, but there's weight to the system, and the Wii really doesn't weigh that much. Wow, the gamepad is light. I actually hadn't gone to any of the kiosks in the store to play the demos, I just never had a chance. So I didn't know how heavy or light the controller would be, but it feels pretty light right now. Yeah, it's pretty cool, it's a full-blown tablet. Black looks really slick. It's pretty thin, like it's actually... A, hmm. I don't, yeah, this seems good enough that I don't think my hands will get tired. I was worried about that at first because it looked pretty bulky. But the screen is pretty good. I, I mean, if we're used to playing on a Game Boy or DS size screen, this is huge. Probably like, I don't know if it's the same as a 3DS XL because I haven't gotten one of those, but uh, yeah, this is good. It has the camera up there, trigger buttons, sensor. They were selling, I saw uh, this morning at Best Buy. Like already like whole cell phone gimmicked uh, screen protectors. They were trying to push those. I don't know how necessary that's going to be just yet, but it, it really might be. Those controllers look pretty expensive. All right, now here's the actual Wii U. Well, taped up pretty tight. The gamepad was pretty loose in the system, which is probably more durable. It's pretty tight. All right, so what do we have here? All right, so we got. It. Nintendo logo. Here's the back. So, looks like for the sensor bar. Um, yeah, AC adapter is yellow, sensor bar. We got HDMI wire. I'm guessing that's for the components if you have component cables. We've got two USB ports right there. Um, fans are on the side. I do have it upside down. So, we have fans there. Fans all on here. Fans back here, which is good. So, hopefully, good circulation. Uh, yeah, I think those, these might be the only two 
USB ports unless I'm missing something. I don't think you need more than that. Um, here's the disk drive. So we got power, eject, this to sync the gamepad. Hmm. This opens up for something, which I'm not sure, but I'm guessing we shouldn't be tinkering with it anyway. And you got the big fan there, so this is good. It actually has a lot of weight to it. It's definitely much tighter and heavier than the actual classic Wii. So, hmm. what else do we have here? I picked up a few games today, and of course, Mario Brothers, gotta have it. Can't get better than this. I don't care what people say if it's tired and the same formula. It just never gets old to me. Grew up in all this. And I did spot check a few stores today while I was out and about. This seems to be the hardest game to get. I got to Best Buy when it opened, and I only saw three physical copies in the store. I don't know if there was a box buried somewhere, but this game was not floating around. Open this up just to take a look. I like the blue. My only problem now is like replacement cases. How well, like the white DVD cases floated around, but I don't really see blue ones too often. So nice and blue. We got a really colorful disc here with lots of great artwork on it. Lots of icons from the game. Really cool circling around here. I like it. I love cover artwork, and I'm glad when they put effort into it. And uh. Whoops, I don't want to show my uh, Club Nintendo code, which hopefully didn't <laughs> get filmed already. Have to use that right away. So here's something, which, uh, let's find out. Ah, okay, this awesome. Totally Mario World right here. This is great, I can't wait to play it. This looks like what the last few Mario, new Super Mario Brothers games should have been, with a great overworld, not just a straight line. So this is pretty cool, I don't know how well it's showing up on here. I wonder if there's a secret world in the middle. I wouldn't be surprised. So, um, they're showing here. I get, you can use the Wii Remote, but then you lose the on-screen, which I guess for this game it really doesn't matter too much unless you want to play it on here. But it's good, you don't need different hardware. Smart move, Nintendo. Um, and the rest just adds hyping up the other games that are coming out. And the Lego game looks great. What else did we get? Um, I also picked up Zombie U, which I'm looking forward to. I'm not a big first person game, but this game just looked pretty cool and it looked like it had a lot of unique features to make use of the Wii Remote. Some of the reviews haven't been so great, but I'd rather formulate my own opinion. It just looks like a fun game. And I picked up Epic Mickey 2, The Power of 2 for the Wii U. This will be out on every system, but wanted to get this version over the Wii version or the PS3 version. And the 3DS version just came out too, which is cool. So th those are the games I picked up. I do have Sonic uh, Wallstar Racing Transformed on its way. I'm surprised it hasn't gotten here yet, but otherwise those five games should last me a while. So, thanks for watching. Hope this helped a little bit. Uh, I no, there probably won't be a new stock for a few weeks, or maybe who knows what's going to happen with that, but I think it's a worthwhile investment. If you like Nintendo franchises, you can't go wrong. Just take it for what it is. Um, Nintendo needs to do a lot of things differently, but as a whole, you're never going to get better first-party titles, in my opinion, and at the very least, that's a great reason to always buy a Nintendo console. So, will this little device here change the way we game play games? I hope so. I hope more third-party people, and I hope even Nintendo, they utilize it to its fullest. It seemed like the motion controls didn't really go as far as they wanted originally. Uh, it took almost a whole life cycle to get it right. And even with the 3D, most people I know play the 3DS, not in full 3D. So I, I just hope this doesn't go to waste. It's a pretty cool feature. There's a lot of stuff coming with the TV button, which is right here. So right now, what I want to do is say goodbye to you guys and go set this up and... See what it's all about. Thank you for watching. Please check out all the other videos. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you again.